How's it going? This is going to be chord shapes, part two. So in part one, we learned how to navigate uh, some chords without necessarily changing positions. So we're using the key of C for an example here, but anytime you're playing, like I'm thinking of one, right? So C is our one chord, and we're in the key of C. So the other chords we learned are F and G, the four chord, the five chord, very common chords that fit the key of C. So we got one chord, four chord, five chord, but we learned how to play it like. Okay, that's really useful to be able to play these chords in the same position. So what kind of what I'm using here, and you might want to review, is the C major scale behind the bar and ahead of the bar. And then the chord shapes for the one, four, and five chord are kind of within that. So that's kind of what we're using. Now, in this section, we're going to learn how to use these chord shapes to help us when we're improvising melodies. So I want to be able to play... So if I have a song that's in one, four, five kind of progression, well, that's all like very friendly with the key of C. I don't really want to leave my C major scale. So I'm going to uh, be content to stay pretty close to my fifth fret for the most part, and I'm going to play in the key of C the entire time, but um, I want to be able to navigate the changes as well. I'm not just going to blindly run up and down the, the, the C scale. I'm going to, like when the F chord happens, I'm going to land on, on one of the notes of the F chord so that I'm stating that change. But as we learned in the last thing, um, all the notes of the F chord are in the C major scale, and all the notes of the G chord are in the C major scale. So I don't have to leave the C major scale to navigate the changes. They're all within the C major scale. All right. Now, it's important to remember that uh, to be able to do this successfully, you have to be able to play one note clean, single notes. Um, so if your blocking isn't very good and you've got a lot of extra notes, so you know if I play a, an F note here on the 6th fret when we hit the F chord. If I'm sloppy and I have um, all of these notes, they don't fit the F chord. So I need to be able to just get a single note clean. Very important. So, all right, so here's what we're going to do. Instead of just playing, so same chord progression, one, four, five, one. So when I played the one chord in the last video, we played just the one chord. Now I'm going to play a melody. I'm going to use the C major scale. I'm going to make something up. Something like that. I don't know. Something I would play. And then when the F chord happens, I'm not going to necessarily just play the chord. But right when the change happens, the first note, I'm going to aim for one of the notes of my shape. So the F shape, remember, is that. So I'm just uh, making something up. And then there was my change. So I chose this here, sixth fret. It's an F note. It's part of my shape. So I see this shape, and I'm just going to pick one of them to start my phrase on, but then I'm not going to leave the C major scale. I don't have to worry about a new scale. I'm playing over an F chord now, but I'm still in the C major scale. And then when the G chord happens, I'm going to try to start that phrase on one of the G um, notes, G shape. So the G chord shape, you remember is that, so... I chose this one. You start to kind of internalize where these are. And you go one, uh, four chord, could be something like that, a five chord could be there. One, one. So, all right, so now I'm playing melodies, but it still sounds like I'm playing the changes because I am playing the changes. They all fit the key of C, so why not?
I'm going to try this with the backing track now. I'm going to start simple. Oh, so there is an example, right? It's an exercise. So that's a real simple example. It's tabbed out. So you can try that if you're, you know, having uh, difficulty getting started with this. Learn that first and then kind of give you the feel for it. And then after you've done that, keep uh, playing along with the backing track, but improvise. Make your own thing up. And you want to just play in the key of C and you go, okay, I'm going to play. I played a little extra note there. I have a habit of doing that. But then the four chord happens and I go, there we go. That's a nice four chord note. Or that's a good four chord note. That's a good four chord note. And then I'm still playing in the key of C. There's my nice G notes. All right. Probably better to show you in context. So here's with the backing track. I'm going to keep it simple the first time. One, two. All right. One, Here I go. So one chord, four chord, five chord, one more time, here we go. So that was fairly simple, although I got carried away a little bit, as I sometimes do. And um, so I'm able to play the C major scale. You see, I'm just improvising with the C major scale, but you hear it fit the chord changes. It's really, really useful to be able to do this. And as we learn more shapes and get comfortable with, um, with that, uh, we can play over a lot of different things and, and kind of stay within a certain scale. If we look at the big picture of the song here, which is one, four, five, one, it's really all C major. But that doesn't mean we want to blindly play C major. We want to play C major and also state the change. So I'm going to do the same thing, and this time I'm going to just totally cut loose, which means I might add some notes that are outside of the C major scale. Uh, forgive me. And if I do that, and um, but I'm going to try to aim for these uh, chord shapes when the chords change, and I'm playing in C major. That's really what I'm doing. So um, this is the fancy version. Two, one, two, Here we go. Three, See another one. Yeah. All right, I got to do something good here. Here we go. I'm making stuff up. That's how I do it. So um, there you go. So the main thing here is to begin to learn to play over changes while you stay in one major scale. And it really opens up your creativity to not have to think about, oh, I'm changing to a different key here. You're not changing to a different key. It's a different chord, but you're still within the C major scale. So give this a shot. Hopefully it'll make a ton of sense and not be too confusing. Um, this is actually a, a kind of a reboot of a lesson I did a long time ago called, what was it called? It was called Playing Over Changes Using the Major Scale. And uh, that lesson just confused people, so I took it down. And now this is its replacement, and hopefully it's a little more straightforward and easy to think about. So that's the main thing we're doing here. We're just learning to improvise with C major scale, but when the chord changes, we're going to hit one of the notes of that chord that we just changed to. And uh, it makes it sound like we know what we're doing. All right. Have fun with this, and we'll see you guys in the next one. There'll probably be Chord Shapes Part 3 and 4, I think. At least 3. All right. So we'll see you in the next one either way. Bye-bye.